So I'm on the uh, BJJ Fanatics website, and I see three new videos by some guy named Thomas Radzinski. Uh, are you familiar with that guy at all? Nope, absolutely not. No? Well, he's got some good stuff. Three new, three brand new videos. Um, they're getting amazing reviews, which is good to see as well. Uh, but you got to tell us about them real quick? Yeah. You know, I had uh, you guys already know, but I had the um, opportunity to go to Boston, shoot three more instructionals, one on Butterfly Hook, complete guide for Butterfly Hook, to um, wrap, lapel, and submit them. And three, we have uh, taking the back. It's particularly designed for guys for over 40 because there is no climbing involved. All the back days are on the ground. Uh, very, very full and effective system. So dip into it. I'm really hoping that this is going to help your jiu-jitsu and really take it to the next level. BJJFanatics.com. Just search R-O-Z-D-Z. We have all had that situation where after class is when we want to ask a question. And uh, Thomas, a lot of those questions you've already answered, right, at Ask a Black Belt. Yeah, it's another podcast that I'm running. Um, it, it, you know, it's on podcasts, all podcast platforms, plus on, on YouTube. You can find it anywhere. Just search for my name. Search, search for Ask a Black Belt. At this point, over 100 episodes, different questions, jujitsu, life-related, but something that everybody comes across, and often these questions sink in our mind, but we don't ask for whatever reason. So... If that benefits you, go there, listen. It actually might help your jujitsu, might help your life as well. And if you have any questions, find me on Instagram and drop me a line. I'll be happy to answer your question and mention your name during the episode. Welcome. Here we go. All right, another one. Yep. Uh, a kid's class is going on in the background in case you can hear <laughs> the fabulous Professor Edgar. Um, what's he doing out there? He's shaping minds and building uh, the future. No, he's being future loud. Leaders <laughs> and he's being, being loud, loud at the same time. And he's, he's building character in these fine young men and women. Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> we, have, we need to bring Edgar on the, on the show to talk to him because such a unique story. Um, changing lives and changing his life and now impacting others, um, you know, with that in mind. And eating ham and cheese sandwiches on my desk. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> the next thing he's going to ask for his own office. Jesus, you guys are, you guys are unreasonable. <laughs> uh, we don't have the room for it. <laughs> Literally, there's no place for another office in this building. So. Well, growing pains, I guess. Yeah, it's a good problem, right? Right. I... I I am not complaining. Mm -hmm. I think we are doing some great things. But listen, it, this show is not about us. It's more about it others. It should be. Yeah. Yeah. I'm interesting. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Um, wow. You know. So their own radio has their, converted to yeah. Gary's radio. I mean, and now a, let's talk about Gary. In a, <laughs> in a case study for a therapist, an interesting kind of way. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, so, but, yeah. Anyway, go ahead. Well, I, you know, we talked to, to Sean Applegate and. I think what I took away is um, something that I've taken away from a lot of episodes. Uh, and I'm sure I'll bring Robert Drysdale up at some point too. <laughs> something he said, Yeah. but uh, you know, does jujitsu, you know, really make you a better person? Does it build character? Um, you know, every, there's all those cliches about jujitsu saves lives. Jujitsu changes lives. Jujitsu makes you a better person. Yeah. Um, is that all true? Is it BS? I think there's, I always think that there's, it's, it's gray. Uh, I don't think it's black and white um, because I think you bring what you bring to it. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, is what you, I, I do, I do not believe it can change a person. You do not. I do not. Okay. All right. Let's, so let, let's, I don't think it can monument, you know, what is it? Um, there's, a, there's a bunch of cliches about how people never change and things like that, right? Uh, leopard never changes its spots, blah, blah, blah. I don't think jujitsu is any different. I, do, I think you have to change, what, and jujitsu is part of your life. 
I do not think jujitsu can fundamentally change a person. That's interesting. I think many would disagree with you. They're wrong. <laughs> oh, this, is, this is your show from this one on. I mean, yeah, okay. Uh, should people, we, people should will we wrap this up? Well, people <laughs> will say jujitsu changed me, but you changed, like, let's say your life was a mess or you were a bad person or you were a bad influence on people, whatever. You had an addiction You and all that changed when jujitsu came into your life. I don't think so. I think that was already in the process of changing and jujitsu was supplemental to it. Jiu-jitsu was added into it. Jiu-jitsu can't make you sober. Jiu-jitsu can't make you a better person. You have to do that, and jiu-jitsu can be part of it. It's, it's, a, it's part of the puzzle, but it's not what's going to do it. I'm trying to process. Um, I, I, I do agree with the fact that we are in charge of our own destiny. We make our choices. Anybody that anytime says that I didn't have a choice, it, it's it's delusional in my opinion because I, I think we always have a choice, mm-hmm. right? It's, it's just sometimes the choices are so narrow that we just feel like there's only one option, yeah, right? So ultimately, we always make a choice with anything we do. However, I would say hundred percent of the time, and, and okay, fine, ninety nine percent of the time, our choices are shaped by our surroundings and what what we are what we are surrounded by the people who impact us or people who who we are with the environments that we are with we can't modify those mm-hmm. we can either choose be there or not be there and by actions and by by surrounding what's surrounding us whether people or situations that's what shapes the decisions that we are making. Okay, so if I if I take a step back from this, Jesus, they're allowed. They're allowed. <laughs> you are five year old kids. <laughs> <laughs> so what what I'm saying is this: that perhaps jujitsu doesn't change our life per se. However, jujitsu creates an environment that allows us or puts us in a situation when we have a high desire to change our life without which we would not be changing it. And so look, like one can say, you know, I, I, I stopped my addiction because of jujitsu. And the argument is, well, you really didn't. It was your choice. Jiu-Jitsu just helped you there. But, but there's something to be said. If jujitsu wasn't there, that change would not take place. So in some sense, we have to consider that jiu-jitsu had made an impact in order oh, yeah. for that person to make that choice. Okay? I get I, Well, because, listen, I'm going back to my situation. I can't speak sure. for anybody else, but I'm going right back from my situation. If jiu-jitsu didn't come to my life, I would be freaking fat and dead probably by now. I mean, that I can't envision that the change would take place without jiu-jitsu. Like I can't wrap my mind around it. If you guys mm-hmm. don't know what what I'm talking about, go to one of the recaps. Um, that that you know, I, I I share my story quite frequently. But you know, if you're not sure what what I'm talking about, you know, there, there was a big impact that jujitsu made on my life, which we're not going to get into right now. But the point is, if jujitsu didn't come to my life at that point of my life, likelihood of me changing the way how I have, it's slim to none or none, in my opinion. So as a result of that, was it really my choice or was it that jujitsu put me on a path of opportunity to do that? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Great talk. <laughs> Great talk. Uh, I, th- I feel like a lot of times this could be a chicken and, or the egg Absolutely. Thing, right? Absolutely. I agree. Yeah. yeah. And, I, and, and the reason, you know, I, I feel like the flip side could be true too. You know, sobriety is a different thing thing but and here's my Robert Drysdale reference that he he said when he was here jujitsu can also magnify the person that you already are right or and yeah. he was he was speaking more yeah. more about martial arts in general but yeah it can magnify the person that you are so if you are a vindictive mean abusive person 
Now you're a vindictive, mean, abusive person. It will magnify Who knows the habits they have. Right, right? exactly. And yeah. which can reinforce mm -hmm. some of those things. I don't want to make anybody mad, but uh, when people often talk about police officers, every, they all need to know jujitsu. Well, I do believe that there's some bad apples on police forces all throughout the country who would, but, who would not necessarily change their behavior if they had jujitsu. They would just be more efficient in doing the negative things that they already do. Now there's, but look, and I don't want to make it into happenstance. He didn't know but, how to restrain a person, so that person got hurt. I'm talking about the, the person themselves. Yeah. Now you're just adding a tool to th that they're going to abuse like they abuse all the tools they already have. It, this is a really interesting topic. I am actually curious, if you guys are listening to it, drop me a line on Instagram. I, I would love to hear your feedback on this because it, it is, um, I, I think the, the perspective, the, the, the broad pers um spectrum of perspectives here really could create a, a lot of conflicts but also very rich conversation i feel like you talk about two different things okay behavior is one but life-changing event is different sure a, a, a personality is not weight loss right so if I'm an angry person as a from a personality perspective, if I, I'm if I'm struggling with anger or high anxiety, that has nothing to do with me making a choice. If conversation, right? Mm -hmm. If if I am very giving person, I, I wear a heart on my sleeve. What do you call it? Was yeah, was you the got close? Oh, okay, I got yeah. close. All right, there you go. You know, that has nothing to do with me dropping a bad habit or developing a good one. Could be. Okay. So what I'm saying is, if, if I'm a loving person, jiu-jitsu will magnify that. If I'm a bad person, jiu-jitsu might magnify that or will magnify yeah. that, right? But that has nothing to do with me dropping a bad habit. Right. This has nothing to do with me dropping weight. This has nothing to do with me gaining confidence. Right. Those are inquired skills or direct change of direction in my life. Mm -hmm. So as a result of that, one I can control, which is the weight loss or habits gaining or removing bad habits, whatever, right? And the other one is a personality trade, which either will magnify or it will remain as is because yeah. of jujitsu. But can't you, you? I believe you can control all your personality traits. I believe that those are choices as well. It's, it's it, I, I, See, I believe, and, and this is I think this I believe is where the going home and treating. I, I believe going home and treating your spouse poorly is just as big a choice as going home and not eating eating the cookies. Not just as big, but it's also a choice like yeah. going home and not well, eating the cookies. I think to the extent because I think there 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 are some people who will fundamentally disagree with this from a perspective as this is a a, a medical condition. Not a choice. You can make choices if you are in a 100% sane environment and you are clear to have full conscience to see what the consequences would be behind your decisions. Now, if, you, if, you, if your head is not working in the right direction, now your choices are very skewed. As a result of that, you can't make the right choices. So I, there's, there's true diagnosable... True, I hundred percent agree right. with you. And I, and then I there's agree. things that I think that are that are definitely choices. Right, but but look, like you, you mentioned, abuse and and you know addictions and other things. Right. Many consider those as a diagnosable condition. Right, right, and, and they're treatable for the most part well, if you choose to seek and follow the treatment. P perhaps yes, yeah. Seeking the treatment is difficult right. because of the condition you Absolutely. have. Absolutely. So, so it, 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 That's, it's, right. it's a chicken egg situation. Absolutely. Right? Yeah. So if, if you treat yourself now, and again, yeah. we, I, neither I one have, of us are experts. This, I, this is right. just a yeah. perspective of two, two guys who do two oh, idiots. Sorry, don't listen to that you. <laughs> uh, but two two guys that, um, yeah, we you know we're not educated in this, right? However, I feel that if um, you have a medical condition, yeah, and you're taking a pill for it, and now you feel better, a lot of times people say, I'm better, I don't need to take this pill anymore. But it's a chronic thing, and you need to keep taking that pill in order to maintain that level of feeling better. 
Yeah. Um, and so there's there's both. There's the choice that you have so, to make. So, okay, okay, look. So if if you are on some kind of medication and that levels out your you know, situation where you can make clear decisions. At that point, decision is a decision. That's your right. choice. You're making clear decisions because of the medication you have or whatever wh- whatever treatment you're, you, you're having. But if you are not, then you cannot make clear, treatments, uh, clear choices. As a result of that, those choices should not be considered as yours anymore, right? Because you can make a clear decision on the situations that you're in. I don't know. It's I hard. Know. It's hard, you know, and... I to get back to to something a little simpler yeah. is you know I feel that it is jiu jitsu or anything that takes work and then has value um, and has rewards um, any of it can make you a better person but it's not that thing isn't the definer it's part of the puzzle it's part of the I, recipe I hundred you know? percent agree. Yeah. Like I said, and I, I, I don't think, think it, I don't think jujitsu ma- makes the choice for us. Jujitsu provides an environment, right, which gives us the opportunity to yeah. make a choice. Yeah. This is a similar situation like motivation versus discipline. Mm-hmm. Okay, motivation gets us somewhere; discipline lets us continue or or puts us in a position to continue things. They're not sure. the same thing. Don't misunderstand right. though. Yeah, right. I'm motivated to lose weight, but yeah. it takes discipline, then a daily ex- routine to, to actually it. execute yeah. it. Yeah, right. absolutely. Yeah, and it's it, it is a similar situation. I I think jujitsu doesn't necessarily change our life, but it gives us the environment mm-hmm. in which it's easier for us to get on a path of the desire desire goal, yeah. right? But I think... But that's hard to put on a T-shirt. No, it's, and God <laughs> damn it, right. Imagine that print. Yeah. Jesus. Everybody was like, Everybody, what? Yeah. hold on, don't think, move. Let me read that thing. Yes. Um, and so what, you know, what I find is funny in this world that we live in is a lot of people at least say that jujitsu will make you a better person. Jujitsu saves lives. Yeah. Jiu- like they put it well. On so why does that, why art. does that happen? Uh, it's a cult. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Jesus. Uh, we go in places with this yes. conversation today. Uh, but listen, people, pe- because people believe it, and it's perception, and that's their reality. And who am I to poop on it? But it's just that's not my reality, and I think, well, and so. And I weigh different decisions. I I believe in the gray. I believe in the the in between. Yeah, um, that you do. Yeah, and things aren't cookie cutter, as yeah. you like to say. Yeah, yeah. Um, so that that's my approach to it, at least. And that's and and but I can't force you to believe that. But listen, I I think I think you're onto something here. I I, I think as a society these days, we we like to find things. We want to we like to find these phrases which allow things to get easier or make them easier, make them look smoother. And I think right. jiu changes lives is one of those. Even though I, I am the one who jiu changed my life fundamentally mm-hmm. forever, right? I, at the same time, I'll be the one to say it, that, that jiu-jitsu takes work. Yeah. You know, it, it won't change your life if you don't freaking get your ass to the gym and, and, and work. Put the discipline in. I mean, this conversation takes place in literally thousands of, tens of thousands of academies all around the world, right? You're not going to get good at it if you don't show up. Right. You're not going to lose weight if you don't go and do it. Right. Right? This is this is where, you know, just do it. I mean, like, freaking follow Jocko. He freaking pounds this every single time, all the time. And he's huge on motivation versus dip- discipline. Right. You know, I feel like this jujitsu changes, li- changes lives is more of a motivation kind of phrase. Versus go get it done, right? Is more of a discipline, right? Yeah. So like, we can have desire without you know we we can't get the result without right. the hard work right. that we, so, which we desire. Yeah, right? and I think this kind of takes us back to the beginning of this conversation: is if you have to have the discipline and you have to do the work, then it is you that changed the life. It is not it that is jujitsu is just part of it. I I, I get it, yeah. but again, this is. Yeah, yeah. Now we're going in circles, but without the jujitsu, you wouldn't have these opportunities. So I think the credit is, I think, with all the respect to everything, 
the the surroundings is what dictates where who we are. Our decisions are hundred percent based on our surroundings. You know, it, 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 that's my opinion. You know, who we sur- listen. You in a room with one negative person, everybody's bitching. That's that's the bottom line. Yeah, but it's up to you to change it. So you I, can walk out of the room. Yeah, but I'm telling. I don't know about you. Like me personally, when I walk into the room and there is somebody bitching, I I have to leave, remove myself. Like I have to leave because I freaking can't. I, I like. Never mind. Don't Sounds start like you're bitching. Don't start. <laughs> I think you're Don't bitching. I, I'm making a choice to stop. To stop. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you know what? It's it can be a vehicle, but it, you it can. Be. But you yeah. gotta drive it, right? Yeah. Well, that's, that's the way I look. I at think it. that's so. that's the bottom line of this entire. Just stone cold says so. You have that's no it. idea what I'm talking about. No clue. <laughs> no Good. Clue. Good. Let's leave it there then. All, All right. right. See you later. Thank you for listening to Raw Radio. If you enjoyed the show, don't forget to leave us a review and help us make the show even more amazing. For future episodes, check out our website and follow us on all major podcast platforms. Take care.